We have a speaking God. The question is, are we listening? Now, I know any time that I talk on the subject of hearing God's voice, I know there's some pushback and there's some objections, and I, I'm not opposed to those because I have heard some rather interesting things that people have claimed have come from God that I really question whether they have come from God. In fact, sometimes I really honestly don't believe that they have. But the question is, does that negate the truth that we have a speaking God who uh, wants to speak to us? Are we listening to him? It's that old expression, do we throw the baby out with the bathwater? There are people who, for whatever reason, mishear what was God's voice. They believe something was from God and it really came from their own heart, their own desires. But that doesn't negate the fact that we have a God who speaks and he wants to speak to us, his children. Are you listening? Am I listening? Don't let what some people have done or weird things that you have heard keep you from being open to a God who wants to speak to you. God speaks. Are you listening? Are you welcoming his voice? Have you prayed what I call the Samuel prayer? Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Make that a part of your daily prayer life, and you may be surprised that you will begin to hear the voice of God. If you would like to listen to the full messages about hearing God's voice, click on either of the links in the information bar for either part one or part two of hearing God's voice in a noisy world.